place has a wicked vibe. It'd be hard convincing Lena if she catches me breaking in. Better off waiting for her outside. Would you look at that? Gangoon's moonlighting his extras. Turns out crime really doesn't pay. Gotta find a way to get rid of them. Won't chat up Lena if she leaves with them for her shoot. Gotta be some way I can use this info. Uh, okay. E9. 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 Oh, take him out of the picture. Act the schedule. Scheduled her first shoot with Tool. Here's hoping she buys it. Oh, I've scheduled her for a shoot with Tool. <gasps> Yo, let's go! Alright, now I might be able to convince them that their schedule's changed. And they need to get out of here. Save here. Once your chrome ripped out of you? No? Then fuck off! Easy. I'm from the studio. You know, poor thing, firmware updates got her feeling the weather. Migraine, she says. Melanie's taking her to the spa, but tomorrow... She'll be back scrolling scav party. No change in schedule. The fucking prima donna. Was supposed to have dinner at my mom's, but no. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Ah, oh, fuck this, I'm leaving. Okay. Cool, cool. So I've changed her schedule. I got rid of the Gangoons. Now we can wait for her and see if I can convince her. Different. Maybe the maybe the other way will still will work now, but we'll see. Shit, there's Lena. Pretend you're someone important. Lay some, uh, studio cool on her. Don't need actin' pointers from you, Johnny. Uh, let me guess. Another stalker. How long have you been waiting here, hmm? All night? Want me to sign your tits? Where's my crew? We're supposed to shoot and they're not fucking here. Amateurs. <sighs> Anyway, you want an autograph or something? Melanie shifted your schedule today. You're a scroll in the pilot for a new show called Lena and Toolina. Just drop by to make sure you make it. Ugh. Why am I always last to find out about this stuff? Sometimes I feel like a fucking puppet or something. Look at that. A surprise shoot. Ugh. Gotta hurry up if I want to make it. Did you bring me my script? Um, uh, won't be needing one. It's all improvised. Sending you the address. I'll meet you there tonight. The producer, Shank, will be waiting for you on location. Ugh, gotta get ready, do my makeup, nails. Uh, thanks, sweetie. Ciao.
Well. Eat shit, Johnny. <laughs> Message Skank to let him know. Shank. <laughs> Give that Skank a phone call. Yo, what up, Skank? <clears throat> She's on board. How do you like them apples? Get tool prepped. Shit, not bad. I'll let you know when she's here. Want you here for the scrolling too. Okay. Maybe this will crack tool. Yeah. Let's go. Wait until tomorrow for Skank's message. Shanks. Sorry. God. Fuck. I'm just gonna call him Skank, it's fine. Uh. Yo, what up, Skank? <laughs> Come on, you can't name someone Shank and expect expect somebody to not accidentally call him Skank, yeah. V. There was a massacre over at Longshore Stacks. Residents murdered by one Leon Rinder, a long serving ex Vargas ghoul. Naturally, the victim's families want him found and appropriately dealt with. Head down there and find Brianna Dolson, the stack's unofficial representative. She'll fill you in. Happy hunting. Wasn't that the guy's name in The Crow? One with the fire starting guys? I don't know. I've seen The Crow once. And that was like... 20 years ago. Or longer. Fucking dog town. Someone totally broke into my unit. Had a preem time pretending they were me. I swear. If I don't get out of here at the end of the year. <laughs> okay. He's mad. Hanson's rabid brutes are at it again. Remember 75? Wasn't as bad as this, but they killed two kids then. No apology, no compensation. Oh, sorry for interrupting. Name's V. Han sent me. Brianna, I take it. That's right. Martha. This woman here. She'll help us. We'll give you some space. Okay? Yes. Go. I like your pants. Sorry. Emotions are running high right now. Before we start, need to understand who you are. Where from. Life in Dogtown. Know it well? Time's a factor. Here. Quicker you tell me about the killer, quicker I can get to doing what I do best. Indulge me, hmm? It's a trust thing. Spent years working for Arasaka. Years shaved off my life working for a corp. But Dogtown... only exists because someone stands to profit. It's a combat zone, not a place to raise a family. Folks are here because they got nowhere else to go. That's you introduced. I'm Brianna. Six years back, the Tigers came after me, so I ran. Landed here. For most of us, our past doesn't amount to more than that. Running, surviving, which is why... I want to make sure that for once, the eddies we scraped together will buy us justice. Real justice. How'd you put together the scratch for this? All of us here, we pitched in. We've suffered enough. Justice means what to you, exactly? Definitions vary. Want to hear your take? Leon Rinder doesn't deserve to live. He was a triggerman for Hansen. A murderer. All too familiar with that brand of justice. Good for you. Doesn't change Rinder killing Martha's son, Jason along with his friends and four other residents. Jason, Caleb, Deontay, Omar, Pharrell, Matthias, Elisa, and Tamika. Rinder's not a Bargas soldier anymore. Why? No clue. All I know is he's brutal, cold-blooded, a beast. What's his connection to Hanson? He joined when Hansen set up shop in Dogtown. Carried out orders no one else dared take, according to rumor. 
Why would Rinder be meeting with Jason? Any idea? All I know is that Jason was supposed to put Rinder in touch with the Scavs. Scavengers? Jason happened to be involved in some unsavory biz? He was a young man trying to get by in Dogtown. Wasn't no angel, but his heart was in the right place. Martha made sure of that. Why kill all these people? Any reason? Evil is evil. It doesn't need a reason. Martha's boy, Jason, he wanted to become a fixer. He set up some deal, brought Rinder to the stacks. But there was a dispute. Rinder opened fire and, well, was still scrubbing the blood off the walls. Identified the bodies by their implants. I see. Found this in Jason's body. It's encrypted, but I'm sure you can manage. Feel free to look around, investigate. There's still plenty of... Uh, Traces. Rinder will get what's coming to him. I'll make sure of it. Can tell that to Jason's mother. Good. I will. Now you know what we've been through, V. Don't let us down. Can count on me. Rinder's dog tag. Bring it to me. It'll serve as a reminder to this pack of thugs that we're capable of fighting back. I'll do my best. <clears throat> See these combat souls? Must have run up, boosted onto the roof of this shack, bashed his leg against the railing. That's a... Ten-foot jump for a man who's got to weigh at least 360 pounds, leaving dino prints like these. So either we're witnessing the fattest fuck who ever jumped, or Rinder's got augmented hamstrings on top of being crumbed up like a goddamn tank. Is a riddle, all right. The car hit him. Marks like these, I'm thinking 50 cal rounds, Mark 31 HMG. Heavier than a motherfucker lead spitter that did this. Hauling it with a Gannick arm, not a chance. Classic go-to for Militech Marines, ex-soldiers like Rinder. Scan did pick up traces of other rounds, which would make him the lone shooter. Someone's been collecting different kinds of lead here. But why? When I was little, after shootouts, we'd raise to collect any casings we could find. Traded them between ourselves. Must be some kid's stash. Doesn't tell me anything about Rinder, but... Can't complain about knowing a little piece of Johnny Silverhand's childhood. Pile of scrap. Probably laying here for weeks.
I want Rinder to be scared. Scared to have it all taken away from him. Like he took from me. This. Rinder, take it out on the ground or something? Not his fist. See the blood? Indentation? Took some poor fucker's head and bashed it. Repeatedly. It's like he went berserk. Good news. Yesterday we completed some nasty... Seems you're looking for a bored-out killing machine that's lost all self-control. Sounds about right. Starting today, the hospital and its staff will be operating under our protection. Any stitches? A new leg? Report directly to Dr. Robertson. That'll be all. Oh, I already finished the other one. Oh. My bad. Okay. Got a client for you. Guy wants to sell combat implants, Militech 3rd Gen. Good. Send them to us in Pacifica. Where did he get them? Better off telling me how much you're willing to pay. Only if it's quality chrome. It is. Then a lot. Tens of thousands. Fuck me and my cunt. Uh, don't try to be funny. You already get a flat fee. If you, uh, you want more, then ask your supplier. I hurt my tummy. to leave without collecting this. That would have felt stupid.
won't regret it. I guarantee you. Talking the biz of your life. How much you grow protein for? Good scalp or shit like last time? We'll go the long way around. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. In some ways it's easier, and in some ways it's more difficult. Netwatch hacker. Having a really hard time tracking. need to bring back his dog tags. I remember. People like you always got something to sell. So how are we doing this? Well, I'm gonna take my pants off. <laughs> uh, all right, so pistol, pistol, pistol. Are those pistols better than my pistol? Negative. We looking at for swords, bad stuff. Uh, nothing there. Okay, right here. Yeah, nothing really. Just wondering what you've got on hand. All right, how about you buy all this crap? Of that. 
and that. Came to do biz in a bandit motel, crawling with organ clippers. Wonder if we'll find him on the first floor, or on all of them, chopped into little bits. Out your heart. Okay. Cheese it or cheese nips? I don't know. I don't think I've had either of those What's in that? a super long time. Goldfish? Yeah, goldfish? Is that a is that a reasonable alternative? Goldfish are good. Come out! I only want to talk. No, not really. All right. Why are you hacking me? Don't do that. That's rude. Here real quick. God, give me a fucking second. Oh. You don't like them as much? Did I ask you? Yeah, I don't like the plain ones. I like the, uh, the, the, the flavored ones. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The pizza ones are great. Find Rinder on the third floor. Pizza combos. Uh, I used to have combos a long time ago. A again, another snack I have not had. But when I did have them, I liked them. Ow, that fucking hurt. Man! It's the 
pro. Dripping <laughs> balls. Hello? Coffee grinder? Have you spent one I'm looking for grinder. Am I a sweet or a savory kind of guy? Yes. Got a bad feeling, V. Hey, hey, relax, Trim. Let's talk this through. Not about to off an unarmed man, are you? Folks over at the stacks, send their regards. Fuck them! And fuck you! for firing unknown <laughs> all right fine i get it i'll leave
Uh, I like my snacks to have a hint of sweet, yeah. Alright, deliver the dog tag to Brianna. But I mean, I used to eat, uh, cheese crackers all the time. Cheese crackers with cheese in them. Are those the Austin cracker things? Yeah, yeah, definitely compared to you. Yeah. But I'm also not one of those people that's like, I only eat sweets for snacks. Like, I have salty snacks. Uh, like, I love pretzels, I love peanuts. Shoot, one of my favorite candy bars is Take 5, and it has pretzels in it. Yeah, you love paintings. Yeah, salty and sweet is really... That's where it's at. Kettle <laughs> corn? I don't really like kettle corn. There's one of you here? I have a bone to pick with Boy Scouts uh, fundraising popcorn. I don't care what troop it is or where they're getting it from. Boy Scouts fundraising popcorn is the worst fucking popcorn I have ever tasted in my entire fucking life. Like, it's never good. Never have I ever had Boy, Boy Scouts popcorn. Protect the wounded for fuck's sake! <laughs> And I participated in this. It was awful. It's always stale. I don't know what it is. Like, I get that they wanted to do something different than the Girl Scouts, and the Girl Scouts have their cookies. Um, but like, the Boy Scout popcorn is fucking terrible. It's usually popcorn in tins. And the, usually the tins will have popcorn in the ba and the bags are like sealed in there, but it's like pre-popped. It's just, it's just like you yeah. open it, it's popcorn. Like the holiday, like when you get the like a fried popcorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not good. <laughs> well. They don't do the tins anymore. So what are they selling? Like trash bags full of the the. I, it sounds shitty, but you know what I mean when I say trash bags full of popcorn. It's those things, those size bags. It's done. Reinder's dead. You didn't let us down, did you? No, oh, I fucking killed his ass. Found Reiner in Pacifica. Dealt with him. Then the son of a bitch got what he deserved. 
On behalf of all the residents of the Stacks, thank you. It's the least I could do. I mean, essentially. V, the target, is he terminated? <laughs> Took care of him. Congratulations, then. Contract closed. Bags and boxes of gourmet popcorn still taste like ass. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why the Boy Scouts can't get good popcorn. I think it's because they always they they like agree with some bulk gourmet popcorn company, and they get it all at like this insane discount so that they can mark it up and sell it. Which is still sad because they sell this ass popcorn at like way too expensive a price. They're like, hey, you want this tin of popcorn? And people are like, oh man, cool, I'll buy some popcorn. How much is it? And they're like, $26. <laughs> Fucking popcorn? Hey, can you just see me? Yeah, you could buy popcorn at the store for like a tenth of the cost and get the same quantity of popcorn and it would taste better. They want to kill me. I, and I mean, keep in mind this this twenty six dollars for a tin of popcorn was back in like the late nineties when I was doing it. It was like twenty five years ago. It's eighty five a year per scout just to register to sell popcorn. They charge you just to even sell the damn shit? Man, fuck that. No. Wait, it's $85 a year just to be a scout? Wait, I'm sorry, what? Yep. So that's like the dues, essentially. Is that for the troop or is that for like BSA? This is Kurt Hansen. If you're hearing this, that's for BSA. That's not even for the fucking troop. NCPD gang wars. Man, Boy Scouts went to shit. Taxes. Who the fuck needs them? In Dogtown, I keep your business safe. I won't let this go. These looks are copyright protected, okay? You will be paying me for the rest of your life. Your looks, that's all? Yours? Bags, shoes, glasses, all custom made. Lena Molina is a registered trademark. You fucking copycat bitch. Okay, like this is fucking weird. How am I even supposed to act? All right, people, director on set. Someone's got to take the reins. So great to have you back. Just sending you your lines. Just read them out loud. Okay. Got them. Dear Lima, I've been following you ever since the beginning when you were making those crazy amateur BDs with those bikers from the Badlands. I'm going through a difficult time right now. Life kicked me pretty hard in the ass. I can only get a break when I'm being you. Thanks for the preem content. I know you're putting your body and soul into these BDs. Your biggest fan, Edgar Toole. Whoa! You look just like Lena Malina. I am Lena Malina. Listen, I know life is hard, and you do stuff to try and escape, like pretending to be someone else. But at some point, you have to accept who you really are. We all do. Am I being bunked? Formulaic conventional narratives are so last gen. This is art, okay? A study of the labyrinth of the human soul. With a bunch of amateurs, I'm out of here. Shank, don't sell her any more BDs. Uh, 
thanks for the help. Settle your fee in a sec. What the? Shank! What the fuck am I wearing? Uh, hey, Tool. Glad you're back. Back? Huh? Fuck do you mean back? Tell you all about it later, okay? No need to drag our uh, customers into this. Can't believe I'm saying this, but sometimes you actually manage to do shit right. Gee, thanks. $85 is just the dues, then you have to buy the uniform and the book to go with it, which can run around 200 bucks or more. Well, <clears throat> buying the uniform and the book was uh, was always a thing. Everything okay? Hangover. Feels like this hot, runny shit swirling in my head. I can barely remember the last few days. Got anything that might interest me? But yeah, eighty-five dollars just to be in the BSA? That seems weird. They had to do something with the hit they took uh, with the integration. They took a hit from integration that was supposed to get them more people. Hmm. I would have figured they would have gotten more. You take me. I mean, to be fair, they took a hit when they went, when they came out as staunch anti-gay for a while. That didn't last long at all. <laughs> they were like, we do not allow gay anything in the Boy Scouts. And then like two years later, they were like, okay, everybody's welcome. They lost a lot of churches. Oh shit. Like... There are other places they can be. There are troops here that found lots of places to go. And to be fair, they also got like um They got they got some churches that are like, you know, the really um the young hip like rock and roll churches who were were very much like were everybody's welcome, bikers are welcome. LGBT are welcome, all that kind of stuff. Then they started getting some of the some of the uh, the Boy Scout troops. Yeah. Uh, actually, never mind. False alarm. We're over. We're, we're done with that. Why? It it took out all my stuff. Okay. Weird. Oh, yes. Maybe it is because when I reloaded, it lost some of the dialogue. Okay. You talk to a lot of people who thought they were just going to let boys and girls sleep in the same tents. These are the people that are stupid and don't think with, like, intelligence. You know? It's like... Boys and girls can now be Boy Scouts, LGBT welcome, you know, all that good stuff. And it's like, yeah, no, boys and girls are still going to be separated in certain aspects. You can still be in the Boy Scouts and you can do all the Boy Scouts stuff. It's just you're teenagers. We can't have the boys and the girls together because it will lead to bad things. So. Like summer camp is a basis of that where... 
are co-ed and girls sleep in one place, boys sleep in another. Well, that wouldn't, that still wouldn't work because in our summer camp, the Boy Scout summer camp was on one side of a lake and the Girl Scout summer camp was on the opposite side of the lake and they still crossed the lake in the middle of the night. I mean, you're going to have like camp. I just mean like they're not going to put them in the same bunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. still have them separated each room. I don't mean like Boy Scout camp. I mean camps. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. summer camp. Yeah. That have them not even across a lake in the same place. Boys have a harder time being boys when girls are around. Uh, yeah, they have a harder time being normal when girls are around. I won't say they have a harder time being boys. It's just they're different kinds of boys. At that point, they try to like they're they're at that age. All you're interested in is impressing girls. So it's no longer like focusing on merit badges or doing stuff like that. It's like, oh, there's a girl in the in the merit badge class with me. Everybody hit on her. It would turn into that, so. But I did like the fact that girls were now allowed. That was like, that seemed like a no-brainer. Uh, she's a brain dance star. Okay. He called for a psychiatrist, not a merc. Chum got stuck thinking he was someone else. Thankfully managed to help him out. Now he's back to his own self. See why you had your doubts. Client wasn't Lena Molina, but was a co-owner of a brain emporium, Edgar Tool. Guy had a freak brain, brain dance wreath accident. Thought he was the star. Thankfully managed to convince him otherwise. Would you like a pat on the back? A 21 gun salute? Well, you have my mildest congratulations. Now return to work. Wow, fuck you, Mr. Hand. Oh. It was late for us. Your daughter uh, was too old to get Eagle by the time she hit 18. Yeah. That sucks. Hey, can't you see me? Yeah. I enjoyed what I did with the scouts. Uh, I think it's a good experience, and I definitely think it's like if you have a chance for your kids to be in the scouts, it's it's definitely worthwhile. Uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> There is a but, like, I would say the only bad experience I really had in the Scouts was I... Feels weird. Oh. Um, I was like, what the fuck is that? Uh, I, I ranked up too fast. And that, that caused uh, friction between me and the, uh, the other Scouts that were my same rank, but were like three, four, five years older than me. In Luxor Heights, there's a, let's call it a sports academy. Clients from all around the world come there to seek fresh talent. Contracts are signed while taxes allegedly go unpaid. It so happens that my client doesn't like people who cut corners. With my Netrunner's help, you'll enter the facility and extract the data that's of import to my client. Godspeed. Back off. Huh? Uh. Who's a good listener? Me, I am. <laughs> You had to prove to others that I'd earned everything I got. Yeah, there there was a little bit of like... Why is this kid always ranking up at like 
the very minimum age requirements. Like, to put it in perspective to Talon, I got my eagle at 13. And most people don't get their eagles at all, and those who do are usually 17. So I'm like a star and life scout uh, at like 11 and 12. <laughs> And everybody else was like 15 at the time. You were the advancement chairman? Yeah. But I mean, I don't think any of the... I don't think after proving myself any of the adults had any doubt that I had done it all myself. Because like, they started doing the thing where they were like... When I would go up for ranks or go up for merit badge approvals, I wasn't allowed... like. I had to go to other adults in the uh, in the troop to like demonstrate my proficiencies, and nobody ever denied it. <gasps> that is still a problem. There are merit badges that a thirteen or a fourteen year old can't really understand. You mean? I'm, assu I'm assuming you mean can't. The average 13 or 14 year old can't understand, yeah. Right. I will say the merit badge that I had the hardest problems the merit badges I had the pro hardest problems doing were the ones that, like, the 16 and 17-year-old kids had problems doing. Like, personal... I don't know if it's still a, a merit badge or not, but personal finance. That one was, uh... No, we, you do all our finances because you're good at it. Yes, you are. That's the one you were really talking about? Yeah. And also, I think personal finance has a minimum time frame of like six months. It's a long merit bet. You cannot get it faster than, than... Maybe it's not six months. Maybe it's three months. But there's a minimum requirement time frame that you have to be doing that merit badge the entire time. Ugh. Cappy smart. Dude, Cappy is... Cappy is very smart. I'm intelligent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> Cappy is it, Cappy is very very highly intelligent, but she's also ditzy. <laughs> physical fitness is long. Physical fitness wasn't that hard, probably because I was doing physical fitness at the same time I did swimming, cycling, and another one. I think there were three physical merit badges. And you could technically just do physical fitness at the same time. You just had to track it in a, as, like, separate. Your hands murk, right? How much you know about the job? Nothing. Eh, not much. Hands mentioned something about athletes and peeps evading taxes. Here's a sitch. At this academy, they're training, molding young athletes. Folks flying from across the world to meet them, sign contracts. You're going in as a scout for the San He's Diego Shredders. Well. Name's Victoria Wilson, 28, and you're looking for a wide receiver. Scheduling you in their system now. You following all this? What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, repeat that? What? Sorry, I zoned out. For real? No. San Diego Shredders, Victoria Wilson, 28 years old, looking for a wide receiver, and lose the patronizing tone. Well done. 
Just remember to keep a tight lip, no unnecessary chatter. Once you're in, find Fiona Varga's office, the Academy's director, and pull data on every scout who's ever signed a contract. Questions? What's a sports academy doing in Dogtown? Ah, they're all over the world. They make athletes stronger, better. But if you want to enhance them earlier than the legal age limit, where would you go? Where no one gives a shit. Or as it's more commonly known, Dogtown. Whatever Hansen says, goes. And nobody gives a fuck about the rest. Arasaka demons? Not easy to come by. How'd you know they're Arasaka? Ex counter intel. Third branch. Ex cybersec. First. Looks like we both took a wrong turn somewhere. Sorry. I'm Baird. V. Okay. Quick scan and. We're in. System recognized you. Should be able to waltz straight in. Good luck. Gappy, why are you so adorable? Alright, save. Because I'm gonna fuck this up. Welcome, Mrs. Wilson. If you'll join me, please. Oh, uh, what is it? Everything you see here is protected under an NDA. Should any information about our athletes be made public, our contract with the Diego Shredders will be terminated, effective immediately. Ouch, sounds serious. If I may, I suggest you start your visit at our world-class bar. Drinks are on the house. Well then, got my first mission for you. Need you to neutralize three shots of tequila, stat. I'd like to speak with Dr. Fiona Vargas in private. Hmm. Without an appointment, I'm afraid that won't be possible. Who's using these bots? Our verbal motoric integrated interface is used by scouts such as yourself remotely, from Asia, Europe, Africa. Since not everyone can make a personal appearance in Dogtown, we've provided a solution. Interesting. They're doing this to like eight year olds. Oh, you thought they were like 17 or 18. Yeah, I thought this was like high school kids. No, because they said when you got old enough to leave. But I guess you thought maybe like, oh, 18 is the cutoff. But yeah. yeah, these are. These are like little, little kids. Yeah. Holy shit. Extremely talented soccer player. She's equipped with permanently reinforced ACLs and boasts excellent quadricep growth. 